we will move uh, forward with our elementary transformation using which we have to find the inverse of the given matrix right so up till now we have done up to question number seven now uh, in these questions uh, like most of the elements were positive now we will move towards the next type of question in which at least two elements are negative right so how to find the inverse of these type of matrices using elementary row or column transformation so let us start start with solving this question number 10 its elements are 3 minus 1 minus 4 and 2 okay let's start now the questions question is this now we know that the formula for we will use here row transformation the formula is a is equals to ia so a in place of a we have to put the value of the given matrix equals to i in place of i we will put the identity matrix of 2 cross 2 order by 2 cross 2 because the given matrix is also of order 2 cross 2 so <clears throat> the elements of the identity matrix will be 1 0 0 1 into a a will remain as it is in the right hand side a will this a we will not change it will remain same as it is <clears throat> now the first point what we want actually we want to change this matrix on the left hand side equivalent to the which one the identity matrix identity matrix means we want to change this given matrix 3 1 minus 1 and 2 we want to change this matrix as it is as the identity matrix right so we have to see this matrix only so whatever operation we will apply here same thing will get applied to the matrix on the right hand side that is the identity matrix right so first of all we will see these two elements once you forget about the sign of this so what we have we have 3 and 4 right 3 and 4 so earlier previously we also have done the same type of question that 4 is larger don't see the minus sign here only see the numbers 4 is larger number and 3 is smaller number right so but in identity matrix the upper number is 1 the lower number is 0 so upper number should be on the row 1 position right so let us apply a row transformation that let us move r2 to the r1 place and r1 to the r2 place interchange it right so first operation what we have done we have interchanged the position of row 1 and row 2 so from this what we will get in the row 1 position we will get minus 4 2 so here minus 4 2 and row 2 position what we will get 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 same as it is to the uh, matrix on the other hand other side of the equation that is 1 0 it will go to the row 2 right and 0 1 it was in row 2 it will come to the row 1 position right now we have got this now if we want a four, four, 4 number to be higher than 3 what we must have we have to remove this minus sign right if I remove this minus sign then I will get 4 and 3 then 4 will be higher than 3 right as it is in this right so it is a trick in it so what I have to do I have to multiply this row 1 with minus 1 right if I multiply this row 1 with minus 1 what I will get I will get here 4 minus 2 3 row 2 will receive remain same as it is right and in the other hand what I will get 0 will remain 0 because 0 into minus 1 is 0 only and here minus 1 will come and row 2 will remain as it is into a so what I have applied here I have changed the row 1 to minus times of row 1 so I have got 4 minus 2 3 and minus 1 okay now I can see that row 1 position 4 is higher than 3 and in row uh, like in uh, identity matrix the first position I want to hear 1 right so what how from these two elements if I see these two elements how can I get 1 here in the first position I have to subtract row 1 with row 2 if I subtract 4 by 3 4 minus 3 what I will get I will get 1 right so my operation row operation will be what r1 will be r1 minus r2 right 4 minus 3 that is 1 got it so the uh, the operation will be r1 
tends to r1 minus r2 so i will get here 1 right rho 2 will remain same the next element is what minus 2 here in place of r1 and in place of r2 i have got minus 1 so what i will get minus 2 minus of minus 1 it will be minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1 answer right so i have to place here minus 1 got it from here same operation i have to put to each and every element of row 1 similarly in the this side of the equation also 0 0 means r1 position is 0 r1 position is 0 minus r2 r2 position is minus of 1 0 of minus of minus 1 this will be 1 so see there 1 we have written right so other thing is that 0 we, what I was, uh, we were doing no no 0 then minus this is plus 1 actually what it was the first position it was 0 then minus minus 1 this minus 1 will come minus 1 okay then 0 that is r2 minus r1 0 minus 0 uh, minus 1 0 minus 0 will be minus 1 only okay so what we have got we have got minus 1 minus 1 1 and 0 will come as same it same as it is so what where we have applied this uh, root we have applied to the r1 only now from here we can see that one one position we have got here first number now we will move towards the other side that is uh, that is element 3 so in place of 3 what i want i want here 0 so how i will get here 0 i have got 3 I want here 0 what I will do I will do r2 it is an r2 position right 3 is an r2 position I will do r2 minus 3 times r1 if I do it right because r2 is 3 and if I multiply 3 by 1 because the r1 position is 1 what I will get I will get 0 here right so I my this position will be will become 0 so our, pos, our uh, operation will be what r2 tends to r2 minus 3 times r1 so i will get here 0 the other element will be what it is minus 1 minus 1 so what it will be minus 1 minus 3 into minus 1 it will be what minus of 3 1 plus 3 it is 2 so i have got here 2 right it's similarly on the other side of of this equation what i have got here i have got 1 and here minus 1 so this uh, row application we will row transformation we will apply r2 minus 3 times r1 r2 minus 3 into minus 1 it will be 1 plus 3 that is 4 and 0 minus 3 times minus 1 so it will be plus 3 okay now see this matrix actually uh, row transformation what we used to do suppose these are the elements a b c d right first we will change this element first okay then we will go to the this element then we will go to this element and at last we will go to this element four. that means in clockwise direction or in cyclic direction we used to go now we have got here one and zero right now we want this element position this is 2 I want here 1 right so what we will do we will divide this row by 2 so that means r2 will get will, we will change the r2 and we will divide this r2 by 2 so what I will get 0 by 2 0 and 2 by 2 1 okay similarly in the other side of the matrix also 4 by 2 2 and 3 by 2 is 3 by 2 right and the row 1 will remain say as it is same right now I have got this one also first last position this one here minus one it is I want zero what I have to do if I add these two numbers I will get zero that means what operation I will apply here I will apply r1 tends to r1 plus r2 we are changing this r1 because this a minus one is in the position of r1 right so we have to do what r1 gives r1 plus r2 so what I will get r1 plus r2 the 0 1 plus 0 will remain as 1 minus 1 plus 1 will remain will change to 0 r2 will remain as it is similarly here minus 1 
plus 2. It will be 1 minus 1 plus 3 by 2. It will be 1 by 2 and 2, 3 by 2. Now see, as it is same as it is, we have got this identity matrix, right? So that means this matrix on the right hand side, this is the inverse of the given matrix. So A inverse will be 1 minus 1, 2 and 3 by 2, okay? It, these questions are a little bit confusing and uh, you have to practice a lot, right? Because these are time consuming. If you do any mistake in any step, you, you will not get the answer. Okay. You will not get the identity matrix here. Okay. Happy learning.